For more of What's Making News this Wednesday, we take our daily spin through six degrees of news. People in southern Philippines are recovering today after a typhoon hit Tuesday, devastating the region and killing nearly 300 people. Rescuers say the death toll could rise as they make their way to the hardest hit areas. A storm of demonstrators in Egypt called for an extended sit-in around the presidential palace as President Morsi returned to the palace today after leaving last night when it was surrounded by protesters demanding that he rescind the powers he's given himself and his government over the past few weeks. Another bold power move by the new leader of Citigroup, CEO Michael Corbett, announced Citi will cut more than 11,000 jobs around the world. While some Citigroup employees may lose sleep tonight, they should be careful. New information from the American Heart Association suggests insomnia increases people's chance of stroke and heart attack. And this dash cam video might be enough to make your own heart skip a beat. Police making a traffic stop in Kentucky rescued a man who had allegedly been kidnapped and put in the trunk of his own car. Another forced stowaway in Wyoming, where a dinosaur skull was seized from a home earlier this week, reportedly as part of an ongoing investigation into fossil smuggling from Mongolia centered around a Florida dealer.